Today's a curtain call for two, uh, two important players who've had uh, impressive careers. Very much so. James Archer on one side in Leeds, blue and yellow, and Will Weldon, the captain of the Peterborough Phantoms, will both call time at the end of today. They both got their little extension of a day, but one of yep. these two gentlemen goes home with a few pounds of silverware in the locker, and the other one just has to hang their head and call time. But now Weldon carrying. Weldon primes and shoots, and it's in the glove of gospel. And Weldon takes a little shove from Wesser and gives him one back. Well, very much a Will Weldon's wheelhouse here, even if that was <laughs> it, la her last game, probably exactly the same as his first game in Peterborough. He's uh, never, been, never been backward about coming forward as Will Weldon, and that's the sort of thing he would like to do. Good job by Peterborough just to choke, choke away any potential shooting opportunity, but Leeds continue to work on the periphery. This is Howlett looking inside. Oh, he found Brown. It was a great save by by Jordan Ma. Didn't have much time to react, and we know Brown is absolutely lethal in that position. Peterborough back regrouping, bowering, plays it up to centre. Bjorki Nordstrom shoots. It was a good low shot, and we've got uh, Sam Gospel here. He's got a player stick as his stick has gone wandering. Top three, Bjorki Nordstrom. Oh, it's Vikowski now ready to shoot. Well done, Ma. Had his pad down in position for that. Uh, but as I was saying, it's Bjorki Nordstrom, Ferrara and Sladkowski, which you would say is, without a doubt, um, a stacked line for Peterborough. Yeah, it's been, they've been... There's a Hayward, they've wrapped one off the pads of Mar on the wrap around there. Yeah, that, that's all been that's all the top end line. Cause it's, oh, it's, we've got one! No, scraped off the line. No, Mr. Oh, Irons. Mr. Mr. Irons. Irons. A replay, perhaps, of last night. Absolutely seems certain that that did cross the line. Uh, there would be some irony in Peterborough complaining about this. They are questioning the goal judge right now. Well, the goal um, judge, of course, all they signal is whether they think it's crossed the line. It's not their decision. That's it was very hard to tell from that immediate angle. Norton, Norton feels he's got it off the line. And now and we have close uh, up Lucas of uh, That's a decent play his case, Congrats to him. Making his case to the goal judge. But the goal will stand. Shooting right and leads in the light blue and yellow trim. Shooting towards the left, leads 1 0 to the good in a period that was probably pleasingly low event for Peterborough. But Peterborough onto the attack now. Bjorkney Nordstrom and look at the save here from Gospel. Brown comes across, misses the puck though, and away come Peterborough. Here's Hunt. Got gloss upon the inside if he looks. He drags and shoots. Absolute pinpoint over the blocker. And Peterborough are off the mark. Jarvis Hunt has done that. As a Basin Stoke fan, I have cursed that man for doing that far too many times. But we can see here, it's just a quick break, a loose putt, and it's two on two as well. And Hunt backs himself as the defenseman skate, as, as uh, the, the Peterborough man draws the defenseman across Gospel's line of sight. He uses the other man as the screen, picks the top corner. Bowering comes back. His up ice pass, lofted into the air. And a cross ice for Bjorki Nordstrom! And once again, Gospel beat on the blocker side. And it's the young man, Ivan Bjorki Nordstrom, who's put the Phantoms in he ahead in this game. Well, that out of nowhere, we talk so much about how quick Lee's moved the puck up the ice. A three, three touches of the puck, one in the corner, one in the neutral, onto the stick of Ivan Bjor Bjorki Nordstrom. And the Phantoms, and we wondered where the goals were going to come from in the first period. We are less than, you know, less than seven minutes into the second period and Peterborough are in front in the playoff final. Slavkowski strangely flips the puck up to himself and bodies Griffin away from the puck, plays it up to the point. Robson, oh, he's missed it. And now Howlett is clean, home and free if he can finish. But no, Ma with the save. Down beneath the net for Padlick. Padlick out front, Slav uh, Ferrara, beg your pardon. Changed onto the backhand out for Slavkowski. That didn't miss by much at all. And now Padlik on his knees tries to get the puck loose, but uh, leads clear it all the way down. Just a few sticks waving up in the air. Endicott. Up to the point for Hare. Hare shooting into traffic, and the screen did the trick. I think it was Endicott in front, and there's absolutely no chance Jordan Mark could see that one. Well, of all the names you think about who would get them back into this game, I don't think Dylan Hare will have been very, very, very high up on that list. 
but the puck just comes back from, comes off of the off the half wall. It's got up to hair, and everybody knows what's happening. The screen is in front, and as you say, there's Endicott in the way, blocks the sight of Jordan Maher, and it's that, that puck. I believe the phrase you used yesterday was that puck has eyes. It only had eyes for the top corner in front of that Leeds Knights block behind Jordan Maher's goal. Colleagues to get on onside, and then throws one in. Buesa up to Neely. Oh, Neely's let it go. Sadkowski's got all the space in the world. Oh, and he makes no mistake. Peace Gospel on the blocker side. Three goals for the Peterborough Phantoms. Three goals in exactly the same place. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Well, the third time is the charm if I can mix my metaphors. What a goal from Lukas Sladkowski. The puck comes back to Neely and it just bobbles over his stick. And Sladkowski is away to the races. Head up, stick down, fires and scores. No doubt about that one. What a goal. Two really, really good goals, actually, if you think about that goal from Bjorkley Nordstrom as well. Griffin goes back, collects it in front of his net and then plays it out to Buesa. Buesa stretches up to Barron. Barron closed down by Norton, and now Thorpe coming in to help out. Flips it up only as far as McMullen. McMullen goes round his man, and then threw it towards the net, and it's hit a skate and leapt up in the air. It, from a celebration, it looked like perhaps Buesa scored that. It may have come off a, a, a Phantoms defender's skate. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell, certainly from our, from our eyes up here. And we look at the replay, though, we see there where the puck is just kept in again at the line, but Mullen gets the puck on there, and now it's still quite hard to tell. But certainly Boesa is celebrating like, like he's done it. They've all gone, of course, to, to Mob Noam at Mullen, he's the one who's, who's done the hard jobs. They will have to wait to see what the referees have awarded that as. Leeds, this is Neely. Over to Howlett, trying to find a way out of their own zone. Howlett will do so with speed. Protects the puck, but he's had it stripped from him, and then he held the stick of Ferrara. Ferrara appealed to the referee but uh, nothing coming here. But Mullin just managed to get it down, but only as far as Ferrara. Ferrara's attempt to clear the zone was a weak one, though, and now, ooh, shot into traffic, hit someone, and now Dylan Hare's got it over. A howlet shooting, Thorpe diving into the shooting lane, up at the point with Dylan Hare, shot into traffic, and Maher has got it, and he knows where it is. Now we've got a Leeds player diving in the direction of the Phantoms goalie. It's really interesting to watch across the course of this game is that whenever Peterborough they try to put it out. They've, uh, uh, they always get stuck at the blue line. When and they walk out, they get it. At the 47th minute of the game, it's a stirring moment as uh, hockey fans of all teams come together here to stand and applaud in memory of Adam Johnson. A real show of community. Four minutes 40 remaining to break the deadlock before this game heads into overtime. It's been a pretty good power play, all things considered, when you think that second unit got so much time. It was really effective. Connor Glossop standing strong in front of the net. Oh, Slavkovsky across to Bjorkley Nordstrom, and he just didn't get what he wanted on that one-timer. Haywood. Just come onto the ice, lays it off for Baron, shoots, and it came off Mars mask, and it's now loose. And then, oh, Baron tried to backhand it into the open net. Norton waits, plays it up to Ferrara. Ferrara brings inside, navigates it past Mitchell King, and goes on to the backhand, brings inside. Oh, save gospel! Everyone's taken a spill. The puck is loose, and it's out to Ferrara, and he couldn't finish it. That's superb. That is game saving by Mac Howlett right there. There's a penalty on the play. The Phantoms have been called. So instead, he'll put it back over to Howlett. Now Brown up high in the zone looking for a shooting lane. Back down to Howlett. Howlett tried to shoot. Great job blocking that there from Thorpe. Over to Brown for the one timer. He opted to play a change up. He played it a slow one. Phantoms have cleared the zone. 15 seconds left to play. It's got to happen now if it's going to happen at all. Barron up to Brown. Brown across to Howlett. Stick in the lane. Seven seconds. He's got enough time. It's Bowering moving forward. He's got Thorpe in the middle. He goes past. Oh, Thorpe missed it. And now it's back out, but Gospel's got it. That's the buzzer. And what a finish. Oh, my word. First up to shoot will be the Phantoms, Bjorkley Nordstrom. This young man early in his senior career 
Comes straight up the middle, stick handling quickly, and he snapped it straight into the glove of Gospel. Gospel with a little bit of flash on that one. To deny Bjorkley Nordstrom as we start the shootout. There's Jake Witkowski out now for Leeds. Looks like he's going to take a slow one. Takes it wide a little bit. Frames to shoot, and he does, but it's blocked away by Ma. Next out to shoot, see local hero, the veteran, Peter Burboy. Luke Ferrara again takes it slow, brings it out wide onto the backhand, onto the forehand, trying to settle the puck down. Oh, and he hit the post. Well, he did well to wait for the puck to settle down because it popped up on him. And then he took a quick shot that beat Gospel but couldn't beat the post. Oh, a hell of a shot as well. And I think Brace scored so many goals in the Elite League. Out we have Kieran Brown. Here comes Kieran Brown. Takes it wide, snaps one, short side wide. Lukas Sladkowski next up for the Phantoms. He looks intensely focused over on this near side close to us. He's going to take a fairly oblique angle towards the puck here by the looks of things. And here it comes, Sladkowski skates up, collects. Goes wide on the right side, looks inside and then shoots and the, the puck stood up on him, I'm fairly sure. Now quickly it's Howlett, Howlett up quickly to take his shot and he shot wide. So right back in this, neither team able yet to finish a shot. Alice Padalik up next for the Phantoms. Padalik collects, gets his head up, takes a look. Oh, tried to shoot the glove side but he shot it clean over. And we haven't seen any players really attempting to dangle the puck yet. So we do a dangle. Will we get it now from Barron? Barron for Leeds brings it forward. Oh, he's finished it over the glove of Jordan Maher. He waited and waited until he was close enough to make the shot really count. So it is all on the stick of Bradley Bowering here. Bowering. Cradles up through centre, takes a look. Oh, Dragon, what a goal! Bradley Bowering. That man must have ice water in his veins to do what he just did. Well, we're going to see on the replay here, and with the game on it, where the game was on the stick in, in overtime, watch Brad, Brad Bowering here. Look at this move. Absolutely freezes gospel today. He's rolling. Now, here's Buessa for Leeds. Remember, he can finish it. Oh, he shot it high. I got a bit of the crossbar on the way over the top, but it ultimately over the over the crossbar, it's clipped the top of it on the way to hitting the plexi. So Jordan Maher plays it cool, but it will be Matt Barron with an opportunity to give Leeds the initiative. Barron shot wide. Well, he's tried the same move again there, and you can't blame him after it worked the first time, as now the game is on the stick of maybe someone you could call Mr. Peterborough. Luke Ferrara takes it up through the middle, goes wide, backhand, yes he's done it, backhand top shelf, the Phantoms against the odds, you wouldn't have picked them but they've done it here today. Will Weldon said they had a free hit, kapow. <laughs> well absolutely unreal, when you think that Leeds had their nose in front in the in the shootout and what Bowering did to get us here but look at this from Ferrara so quick pulls it onto the backhand and gets all the lift in the world to pop it up you wondered when we would get the dangle we got the dangle and the dangle had done the deal Peterborough Phantoms have claimed the playoffs Jubilation then for the team in red, as you see, we've got the camera down on the ice here. Well, I tell you what, gentlemen, that was worth every penny <laughs> and more.